Hello and welcome back. Performing a web UI test with Scandium is easy and straightforward. In this session, we'll be looking at how we can perform web UI testing with Scandium in these few steps. First, we create our project and then we create a new test case. Then, we record our test, add our test steps, add an assertion and then run our test so let's get started okay so the first thing we'll do is to log in with our valid credentials that we used in creating an account earlier so i'll put my email and the password and i'll click on login so once we're in on our dashboard if you follow my cursor where you have a um, welcome jack here we have this drop down that says default project so click on it and we have our uh, add new project i'll just go right ahead and do that uh, i would call this project demo give it a description of demo let's just say demo this then purpose getting a glimpse of the two other uh, we're creating a web ui test so it's the project type is automatically set on web so i don't need to make any changes to that i'll just click on create project and we're in we no longer have our default project here but the name of our project so now that we've created our project we can now go ahead and create our test case so we'll just go straight to test and uh here we have three options or two options of creating our test. We have over here, the top right hand corner, you have this uh, plus sign and a new test. You can actually go there and create your test or you use this um, create button here, create test button here. So what I would do first is to create a folder. So this folder helps me to organize all of my tests so that I don't have my test flying around. So what I'll just do is click on new folder and I'll call this folder sample and I'll click on create folder so once my folder is created I would just go inside of the folder and create my test I'll come here and I'll go on create test so here we have our, our test our test is untitled so I would call this test one and uh, we have this box here where you have to put in your starting url of whatever web application you want to carry out your test on so i'll just put in my url and I'll click on record so once i click on record i am being taken to a new window where scandium loads uh, the url so all i just need to do here is to log in so I would just go ahead and put in the login details. And I'll put in a password. And I'll click on login. So before I perform any other action here or any other activity, if you look at this right, right hand side, the corner, the right hand corner side, of my screen you would see you have this small movable pin so the first one here you have this uh, stop record so it's a stop record button in case you want to stop your record at any point here you have your post record you have um your your mailbox we have our assertion button which is like the validation we'll be carrying out so i would just go right ahead and perform out add this to cut and I'll add this to cart. I will go to my cart. And we have those items that I added to cart. So I'll just go right ahead and check out. I'll put in the first name, Jack. And 
and I'll click on continue so here we have our checkout overview and um, I would just go right ahead and click on finish so here we have um, our finish our success message so we have finish and we have thank you for your order so what I'll do is to validate this page to be sure so I'll click on my asset button we have two options that you can use to validate elements or text or items on the page so the first one we have um, you can actually assert the page URL you can assert page title or any text within that page or you can assert by element so I'll just click on this and once I move my cursor you tend to see that uh, Scandium highlights all the elements you have on the page so I would just assert this I would click on this and uh, I have a new command that says I'll just click on the command and I have I would select element should be visible and I'll save my assertion so once I'm done saving my assertion I would stop my recording and once I stop my recording I'm being brought back to Scandium dashboard where I started initially so here you can see every of my test steps every activity I carried out been recorded in, in, in steps that so I would just go right ahead and save this so once my test is being saved successfully I would just go and run my test I will just run so without even moving an inch I will just watch how Scandium replace my activities that I've done prior to this time yes so we now have this message which says Scandium has finished playing test scenarios check dashboard for results so i would go ahead and click close this window and um, we have that we have this message that says all tests passed we can see that all of our tests here they passed none of them fail so in situations whereby you want to make changes or you want to like debug or check for what happening or what's wrong in any of your particular tests you have this plus sign here so we'll click on this plus sign and we have these options here so you can view step details you can start your playback from this point you can start recording from this point and we have our settings so i'll just go right ahead and open our settings for that particular step so here we have different uh, options whereby we have our failure mode, we have pre precondition mode, we have our sleep time in which we'll be looking at all of this in uh, course in the, in the later course of this um, tutorial. So another amazing thing about Scandium is apart from you being able to go to a particular step and make changes and edits and updates to a particular step, you can get a visualization to have a better understanding of why a particular step this step is failing by just clicking on this view details and you come here you click on result so here you have a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the baseline actually depicts what scandium saw when we were recording at the initial phase and uh, the result shows what scandium played back as at the time we replayed our test so if at all a particular test steps is failing you should be able to get a visual representation of what scandium played and what scandium is seen as at the time of replay which helps goes a long way in our debugging process so i'll just go back to my test step and we'll just go back to okay i'll save my step i'll save my test rather
okay so go back to dashboard so once i go back to dashboard this was the test this is like this this is the dashboard shows a summary of all the tests so because for this course i just recorded just this test so you have this and uh, you can get details so here you have the environment in which our test was being run we did that on chrome and windows and we have our dates we have the duration and it took scandium to run the test and we can see the status of the test so if i should go further to click on that particular test we should be able to have how many times we run the test so for this tutorial we run this test twice we can see the details that it passed twice yeah and we don't have any um, any of our tests failing at the moment so this is how you can create and run a web test with Scandio. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next session.